Okay, maybe you didn't know this, but your car has a computer. Actually, it has multiple mini computers connected together within one network. Now these computers aren't fast, maybe 40 megahertz at the most with only a couple megabytes of storage space. To access your car's computer, you're going to use something called an OB2 diagnostic tool. The one I'm using, I got for around $20 on Amazon and connects via Bluetooth to your Android device. On your Android device, you're going to download an app called Torque. Now there is a free version that I recommend that you try first before you buy the paid version just so you know that it works. But definitely buy the paid version because it offers a lot of great tools and utilities that you're going to find useful. Alright, now the fun part. You need to connect this to the OB2 port on your car. Now, this is going to vary depending on your car make and model. For me, it's actually underneath my dash port, so I'm going to have to reach down and somehow dig and put this underneath there. So definitely look online to see where the OB2 port is on your vehicle, so you know where to put this at. Okay, so once you plug the device into your OB2 port, what you want to do is go on your phone and open up the Bluetooth settings. You should see OB2 and available devices. It's going to ask you for a pin. The default pin is 1234. All right, furthermore, to check to see if it's connected, we go down to adapter status. And as you see, connected to Bluetooth, connected to ECU, it's, it gives us a warning. That's probably because I don't have the engine on, so I'm gonna turn on the engine. And just playing around here, so you have a lot of cool information to play around with. Something I am really interested in checking out is the real time. Let's go over here. And what's cool, it can give us real time data as we're driving, which is awesome. Okay, so once we connect it, you can see all this is in green. All the green items are the test results that the vehicle has passed. Anything in red means it's failed. Luckily, I have no red, so I'm happy about that. So one of the cool things is while you're driving, you can see the real-time information being displayed on the app. So you can see the speed that you're going, the amount of coolant being added to the engine, as well as any other factors that affect real-time driving. So guys, there you have it. That has been a quick look at how to read your car's computer using your Android device. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.